to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we just watched Jack Frost. No, no, not that Jack Frost. This Jack Frost. <laughs> not because that Jack Frost. there's apparently a few of them, and one of them is like a feel-good family comedy drama. I feel like this was a feel-good family uh, movie. Our story opens with Jack Frost, who is a serial killer who is sentenced to be put to death at midnight, and... Of course, the transport vehicle that's taking him to the site collides with a vehicle containing some kind of genetic material that kills him, kind of, but then, like, turns him into snow. His DNA bonds with the snow. Because yes. it's snowing, and that's what causes the accident. There is a blizzard, and there's snow on the ground, and yada, yada, yada. This so. is also a Christmas movie, hence our very festive t-shirts. We're very, very festive. <laughs> so, of course, Jack Frost does want to keep his promise to the sheriff that he will get him and he'll come back and you'll be sorry. You yeah, know, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. I feel like I was quoting something else. No, I think I was really quoting so. Empire Records. <laughs> like, I'll come back and you'll be sorry. <laughs> Anyways, happy Rex Manning Day. So, of course, Jack Frost does come back, as he promised, and is pretty much just going after anyone in the town, but specifically, he's going to get to the sheriff and his family. We see a very young Shannon Elizabeth in this. Yes. It's a very interesting scene. We're going to leave it off as it is spoiler-free, although there's really not that much to spoil. Like, you could probably assume how this movie's going to end, but... <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> we'll leave it off here. Um, oh. oh, also, um, an alleged FBI agent and an alleged, I think he's from the the chemical company, yeah. also become involved in this and just make things way more messy than they need to be. Mm -hmm. And again, leaving it off there as it is spoiler free. What could possibly happen? You know, what'd you like about the movie? I, I actually like the kills. I thought I thought the kills were all inventive. I thought they weren't like the, the they weren't the same boring thing over and over again. And most of them were like Christmas or like winter themed. And I love when a holiday seasonal horror movie has holiday seasonal themed kills. That's true. And just Sam McDonald as Jack Frost was just amazing. He he did a great job. He was great. I feel like I still have questions about <laughs> the beginning of the movie when he's in the back of the the transport to his execution. Mm -hmm. And he has, like, some weird scars. But then when they do flashbacks, he, he doesn't, doesn't have the scars. And it's like, well, Maybe why would you just prison. use scar wax for just that scene? Maybe the scars were fake. And they're supposed to allude that he got the scars while he was in prison because he's a heinous serial killer murderer. Yeah, but no one's going to go after him. He's crazy. Mm. You'd be surprised. He's very crazy. He, ah. Uh, do you have any other likes? No, go ahead. I felt like his one-liners were equal parts horrible <laughs> and equal parts I loved them. So that was a huge like for me. I enjoyed, um, they were like really... The scenes in this, some of them were just ridiculous and prolonged. Like, there's one with uh, Jill and Tommy, and they're, like, getting ready to make out and whatever. And, like, they start, like, taking scarves off and unzipping their jackets. But they're then they're wearing, wearing like, so many four t-shirts and three sweaters <laughs> and, and four johns. long johns and all this stuff. And it's, like... Oh, that was hilarious. Is, what, oh, are that they, so they going to be naked or not? Like, that what's was, happening? Oh, that was so good. The, the bathtub scene. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the carrot. Amazing. Amazing. I thought that um, they did a, a, a good job. They knew completely what kind of movie they were making. Mm -hmm. And it was funny. They didn't try to be something they weren't. Yeah. And I loved that. And it was all those little... I don't know, little nuances like this is a cheap movie. Like this is a movie from 1997, I think. It's from 97. Roughly. I'm pretty sure. And it, no apologies there. And that's great. What, what did you dislike about the movie? Other than uh, Sam McDonald playing Jack Frost, the rest of the acting was horrible. Like it was bad. It was so bad. The sheriff 
was so bad. Like, I don't know if the bad acting was on, pur- on pur- purpose, but See, it that's was the thing. terrible. With these kinds of movies, you ha- you don't know. Yeah, I know you never know, but some of the acting in that is just awful. And it was like... I wanted a little more backstory in some of the little subplots they put in there, like with dude and his wife, and why his wife acted so weird. Oh, the one that wanted to be the, the Xanax, angel. Yeah, the, the Xanax. Oh, I tea. kept making jokes that she was just pumped full of like Halidol and Xanax. She looked. She and her looked tea like it. was just like. I like. They fentanyl. gave us like a little taste of between, of the backstory between the sheriff and Jack Jack uh, Jack Frost, and I felt like that was enough. But then there was no backstory at all with anything else. You didn't know like. A lot about how many people Jack Frost killed, how many, like, you know, you didn't know anything else. You just, they're just like, hey, he's a serial killer. And the well, no, problem. in the, the opening, they gave Yeah, that, but it was, yeah, it was very little, though. I would have liked a little more. But, and then you don't know anything about anybody else in the town. And that's fine if they're not really, like, involved. But they were heavily involved in the movie. And you got, like, no back, backstory behind it. So, I don't know. I would have liked a little more. A little more fixings, you know, a little more potatoes with the Ew. steak. All right. You don't like that analogy? I don't like that analogy. <laughs> Pre- you prefer spaghetti and meatball? That <laughs> makes you more Hip- comfortable? Hip-hop anonymous? <laughs> um, what did I dislike about this movie? I don't know. Tell me. The child actors were so bad. <coughs> Shannon Elizabeth was good. She was all right. Okay. The kid who played the sheriff's son was The kid who played awful. the sheriff's son, I just wanted to just... Grab him by his terrible haircut and just throw him into the snow so Jack Frost could kill him way quicker. He was so annoying. He had the bowl cut. It was disgusting. (laughs) And like, I was getting mad, like, as an adult (laughs) when he was cooking stuff in the kitchen. I'm like, this, he's making a mess. He's just going to leave it there. And his mom's like, oh, I just cleaned up your last mess from your special oatmeal. And I was like, no, what are you doing? You make him clean that shit up. Terrible parenting. I don't know why that pisses me off so much. I really hate cleaning up after other people. It's really annoying. <laughs> I don't know why she's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you rate this movie? Uh, Alright, I would give this a 3.5 out of 5. And it's not because it's that good of a movie. It's because they knew what they were. And they didn't try to be something they they weren't. The Sam McDonald acting was phenomenal. The kills were good. It looked like they used like all practical effects, which is always a plus. Mm-hmm. And it was just you know it it they knew what they were. They didn't try to exceed their li- their limitations. And I think they stayed within the realm that they created with their limitations. I think they they did well for probably the the budget they had and the people that they hired, they did really good. Plus the story solid. What would you rate it? Probably like a 2.5 out of 5. I thought it was really funny. I thought it could have been a lot more gory. I, you know, maybe that's also a budgetary constriction. Mm-hmm. I, maybe if they had more money or like less money put to other things they could have made the gore like I like when there's those tight shots on it and you really get like all the bang for your buck I want it to be disgusting um I really just I I I really like this movie this is not the first time I've seen this movie and I really do enjoy it um I don't know what they were thinking naming a child Jack Frost and like how that wouldn't end up with him being a mass murderer because good point hello that kid's gonna get bullied so hard and just chop people up and want to step on their heads, so. <laughs> I, I like this movie a lot. I like to watch my seasonal horror movies around their Appropriate joyous times. events, so. I'm glad that you were finally agreeable to watching this. I did. I did. I did agree to this. There's a sequel that we might watch. There's a sequel? There's a sequel. I knew there was going to be a sequel. I think there's a, yeah. I think I saw a second one. There's a lot of sequels to, what was it? Silent Night. Silent Night, Deadly, Deadly Night. Night. However, this we found on Amazon Prime Video streaming, and we didn't have to buy it or rent it. So we went with this one, however. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I'm, I'm not paying for that right now. We've <laughs> got a lot of bills. It's the holidays. 
And so. it seems like it seems like all the holiday movies are now, even if they were free before, now they're now they actually cost something because they're like, oh, everybody's gonna want everybody's gonna want to watch this. It's Christmas, free for the the movies that come with my Amazon subscription. Oh, you get all that free shipping, so I guess I'm pretty much what pays but. for it. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? We'd love to know down below. Do you have any fun plans for the holidays? Or is it just another day in December? Because that's cool too. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the notification bell for all further notifications of videos and live streams. Uh, as I said, leave a comment if you have any thoughts. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you like antifreeze. Ha. Speaking of Christmas movies, I really hope they make a Christmas gory, which is a horror twist on a Christmas story. I would love it. Oh my they god, killing people with it. a leg lamp. Oh my god. Terrible. <laughs> Bumpuses! You're, <laughs> you're fragile now. Oh my god. Oh, that would be great. But, alas... You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available on iTunes in podcast form. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. We love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content. Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator, where I play stupid video games with my stupid friends that I love so very much. They're like family to me. You can also find me on Twitch under Repeat Groom Ray. I'm an awesome follow. I tweet funny stuff. I'm hilarious. <laughs> I don't like All what right. you just did right there. <laughs> All right. Happy holidays. See you guys later. Ho, ho, ho.